Assalamualaikum. Uh, my name is Muhammad Hilmi Rambu Amin. Uh, today, uh, my group uh, will present about Volkswagen. Uh, my group have four, mem uh, four members. First, uh, Muhammad Dinesh Lini bin Muhammad Naziri. Second, uh, Muhammad Hilmi Rambu Amin. Number three is Muhammad Aziz Iskandar bin Abdul Halim. Number four is Muhammad Aziz Najmi bin Kamar Zaman. Okay, uh, so next uh, slide is about table of content. Number one is introduction about company. Number two is uh, product or service. Number three, uh, mode of entry. Uh, and the last, uh, target uh, country that was again choose. So the first one, I will make an introduction about Volkswagen company. So Volkswagen is a German motor vehicle manufacturer headquartered in Wolfsburg, in Wolfsburg, Lower Saxony, Germany. So Volkswagen was founded in 1937 by the German Labour Front under the Nazi Party. It is known for the iconic vehicle and served as the flag ship brand of the Volkswagen Group. Volkswagen was the biggest automaker both in Germany and Europe and also was the largest automaker both also the largest automotive manufacturer by worldwide sales in 2016 and 2017. So Volkswagen actually has three cars in top 10 list of best selling car of all time which is Volkswagen Golf on number 3 ranking. Volkswagen Beetles in number 4 and the last one is Volkswagen Passat which is ranking in number 9 so Volkswagen means people car in German its name is divided from the German language term Volk and Wagen translating to people's car when combined and its current international slogan is Das Auto the car so Volkswagen has production in 62 plants across 21 countries and sales in 153 countries. The group biggest market uh, was actually in China which is deliver 40% of the sales and profit. The next one as you can see in the slide right here, this is the evolution of the Volkswagen logo from 1937 until 2019. So as you can see in the slide, the logo from 1937 until 1978 was very different. It was very hard to know that this is Volkswagen this day because the first logo actually was the round the logo inspired by Nazi. So begin in 1989 until 2019, the Volkswagen logo is the blue one which is we recognize it on every Volkswagen car that we see on the street this day. So in the next slide I will explain about the operation of Volkswagen. So Volkswagen is the founding and namesake member of the Volkswagen Group, a largest international corporation in charge of multiple car and truck brands including Audi, Sip, Porsche, Lamborghini, Bentley, Bugatti, Scania, Man and Skoda. So Volkswagen Group is global headquarters are located in is located in Volkswagen history home Wolfsburg, Germany, Volkswagen Group. As a unit is Europe's largest motor motorcycle motor vehicle manufacturer with over seventy four thousand employee and over seventy seven thousand and seven hundred manufacturer with with the dealership. For a long time, Volkswagen has been has had a market share over a twenty percent. So Volkswagen has factory in many parts of the world, manufacturing or assembling vehicles for local market. In addition to plants in Germany, Volkswagen has manufacturing or assembly facilities in countries like Mexico, United States, Slovakia, China, India, Russia. Malaysia, Brazil, Argentina, Portugal, Spain, Poland, Czech Republic, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Kenya, South Africa and South Africa was the last one. In 2011, Volkswagen was named in 25, top 25 largest company in the world by the Forbes Global 2000. So with over 120,000 employees in Germany, Volkswagen is one of the most 
well organized labor represented companies in the world and Germany the rule the work council and IG metal play is unique even within within Germany so Volkswagen worker have some of the strongest collect strongest collective agreement Volkswagen also has a strong tradition and a practice of social partnership and co-determination. So, Volkswagen has always had a close relationship with Porsche and Zufensen, best sport car manufacturer, founded in 1931. So, 1931 by Ferdinand Porsche. So, the original Volkswagen designer and Volkswagen company co-founder Adolf Hitler for the project, the first Porsche car. The Porsche, the Porsche 94 of in 1938 used many components from Volkswagen, Beetle, Volkswagen Beetle. So the 1948 Porsche car, were, uh, Porsche car 356 continue, continue using many Volkswagen components including a tuning engine, gearbox and a suspension. The last point from me is I'm going to tell you about the product and service offered by Volkswagen. So the first one uh, the first product was manufactured the first product and service provided by Volkswagen is manufacture and distribute distributes passenger and commercial vehicles which is they will make the car and deliver like ship it or using airplane to the seller country so the next one is the service provided by Volkswagen is sells their vehicles Volkswagen sells the vehicles in the distributor countries such as Malaysia. In one of the place I have been is Seremban. They sell the vehicles there. So the service offered by Volkswagen is service maintenance. The service maintenance is to make sure the Volkswagen car was always in good condition. The fourth, fourth service was other than service maintenance was accident repair. Volkswagen offer accident repair for the customer who use Volkswagen who accident their car and Volkswagen offer to repair them with some charge. The last product offered by Volkswagen is merchant sale. As you can see in the picture right here, merchant sales they sell was such as water bottle, bag and key cover and a lot of other stuff. That's all for me. Assalamualaikum, I'm Ahmad Hazik Najmi with a continue presentation. Next is Marketing Tools Communication. Marketing Tools Communication is a method that company use to make sure customer get information about their product. How works Wagon being a, one of the pioneer automotive manufacturers? This is because they use creative and unique advertising. So, let's go to the point. First marketing tools communication that Volkswagen use is a direct marketing. Volkswagen use different type of marketing tools communication to their customer from a very basic method of direct marketing, such as sending of brochures uh, to their prospect and customer through mail. They also send multimedia file in the form of DVD, email uh, to the target customer to target customer. Some can be uh, the old customer, their old customer, or some can be uh, a new customer who is interested uh, in the Volkswagen product. So, we next to the second point is mobile. Volkswagen know that Volkswagen know that people spend a great deal of time to suffering internet and it has turned out to be a perfect marketing tools communication that Volkswagen can use. So, uh, Volkswagen uh, put ads, uh, put ads uh, in popular website and blog site. Uh, this small advertising, advertising uh, are known as Skybus. This link uh, takes uh, the customer to the company website which show various information of the product that was Volkswagen offer their customer and also they show different kinds of options like dealing with uh, the financing the nearest the nearest dealership the website also has uh, many interactive features uh, like choosing color and various 
various options uh, and additional accessories and price of the extra fitting. Besides that, uh, Volkswagen have also used social media platform like Facebook, Twitter and Instagram uh, as a part of their social media marketing campaign. Third is marketing tools commission uh, that Volkswagen use is spon uh, global sponsorship. Volkswagen has sponsored motor, sport, tennis and other type of sport uh, and game uh, of uh, sport event sport event uh, have a hard number of people watching uh, the event so this can help uh, Volkswagen to promote their brand uh, fourth is uh, sell promotion uh, which is uh, they use billboards uh, billboards is a old method of promotion which company uh, have been using for a very long time even before the TV commercial and internet Volkswagen have used this uh, billboard uh, in efficient manner some billboards are made funny to attract uh, people so people will remember the advertising that the brand show so that's all for me I will pass to Danish Daniel Hi, my name is Muhammad Nishan Yabi Manazi. Today I will explain about mode of entry that Volkswagen use. Alright, Volkswagen and DRB Highcom signed an agreement for a local vehicle assembly in Malaysia, paving the way for Volkswagen to gradually expand its activity in Southern Asia. As part, uh, as part of its strategy 2018 growth program, this will move toward not just providing Volkswagen uh, for the local market, but also for export as well. <coughs> Next is the, sign, the signing in Kuala Lumpur, which followed the MOU signed by both parties in August in year 2010, aimed uh, at investigating the possibility of local vehicle production. For starter, the Passa and the Jetta sedan have been identified as the first portfolio model to be assembled in Malaysia with production of the first letter to begin from the end of 2011 at DRB High Comps plan. This job feature will also develop the market potential of the Asian region, not only at Malaysia. <coughs> DRB High Comps state that the operation is not to be seen as the contract manufacturing, but a joint venture with a significant uh, involvement in the deal which is worth around RM1 billion, the pain ratio of DRB Highcom's investment is 70% with Volkswagen inject <laughs> injecting the remain 30%. Uh, DRB Highcom Pekan Pahang has a capacity built uh, 96,000 vehicles annually and this venture will help Volkswagen to achieve a major significance for the Volkswagen Group long-term growth strategy in Malaysia and Asian region. Hi, my name is Muhammad Henry Wawami. My message number is 0 cdpr 20 f uh, Now, uh, I will present question number 5 which is about the countries that Volkswagen has chosen to expand their market. Uh, uh, Volkswagen is one of the world's largest car manufactured with a strong global presence. The company has its headquarters in Wolfsburg, Germany. Its uh, main production plant is uh, also like located there. The Volkswagen portfolio uh, includes 12 brands and more than 70 different models. It has carried product in every major segment and uh, almost all countries around the uh, world. Uh, Volkswagen, uh, the biggest market are uh, China and Europe. It's uh, about on an aggressive path to increase its market uh, present by introducing more new model every year. At the same time, uh, the company is focusing on adapting its product mix uh, to, the, to the growing uh, demand for environmentally friendly models. In 2006, uh, Volkswagen entered the Malaysian market. It turns uh, out that one of the chosen country is Malaysia. 
Volkswagen have a factory in Pekan Pahang. Throughout the year from when Volkswagen into Malaysia until this year, uh, it initially had 35 branch and over time it decreased to 15. This is because there are other car brand competitor in the Malaysian market. The competitor is the Malaysian production uh, brand uh, is Proton. Since uh, there are very various improvements of the car, it increased the demand uh, of people compared to Volkswagen. Okay, next, uh, each of the brands are under the Volkswagen group at least to a distinct set of consumer. Volkswagen uh, target various group of consumer from the middle class to the upper middle class and upper class. The premium are uh, based in the group appeal to the higher and segment of the market. The smaller cars are by Volkswagen target the middle class uh, families. The passenger cars made by Volkswagen are targeted at the middle class consumer looking for safe vehicle at affordable price. Okay, next, uh, one of the leading uh, source of Volkswagen competitive advantage is its large product portfolio that include around 365 models. The Volkswagen group uh, catered to nearly every major market segment. It has brought a large range of competitively priced family cars. Other than that, uh, the product portfolio also include industry, leading premium and luxury car likes Audi, Lamborghini and Bentley. So the company follows a varied pricing strategy that allows it to cater to the needs of various segments of customers. Uh, apart from selling to middle class consumers that want innovative models uh, at affordable price, it also sells to the higher end consumer. Okay, next is Volkswagen is an established car brand that enjoys a uh, strong brand uh, recognition in most corners of the world. Some of the brands in its product portfolio are highly recognized brand. However, uh, the company also invests in advertising and global sponsorship. According to statistics, the company made a uh, collaboration with the World Cup uh, Europe uh, 2020 by spending about $5.7 billion on advertising and promotion in 2020 worldwide. The company mainly use uh, digital channels for marketing and promotion. Apart from its own website, uh, Volkswagen use social media for customer engagement and promotion. However, the company also promotes its brand and products uh, through other channels such as sponsorship, motorsport and media events to increase brand awareness. So that's all from me. Uh, thank you. Yeah.